everyone, this is Victor and today we're going to talk about homeostasis and I'm going to give you 5 tips on how to keep your body in this state as long as you can. So what the hell is homeostasis? It's pretty much the state where your body wants to be in order to have everything working properly. Uh, your body regulates itself to keep your pH blood level always at a healthy state, your blood sugar level at a healthy state, your body temperature at a healthy state, so on and so forth. It is the state that you want for your body because that's what's going to give you energy. When everything is working well inside, you're going to feel great. You're going to be able to achieve things in your business, in the gym, in your daily life. You're not going to feel sick. You're not going to feel tired. You're going to sleep well. So the tip number one to stay in a homeostasis state will be your nutrition. Keep it clean and keep it as alkaline as possible. So. On the screen you're going to see a list of alkaline food and acidic food. Try to have a higher ratio of alkaline food to acidic food. So there we have it, the food charts with the different types of foods and the different types of level of acidic or alkaline. Obviously you want the most alkaline as possible and the least acidic as possible. So we're going to go through the different types uh, of levels one by one. So first you have the high alkaline food, you want a lot of them in your diet. So as you can see there's only plants foods in this list and it doesn't mean that because the food has an acidic taste like lemons for example that it becomes acidic in your body, it's actually the opposite that happens, so go for it. So we keep going with the medium alkaline, you also want a lot of them in your diet as you can see they're all plants as well. Low alkaline, you still want them in your diet, uh, some types of grains and still some fruits and veggies. Moving on to the low acidic list, as you can see we start to have some processed food and some animal products. You definitely want less of the medium acidic food and as you can see there's only animal products and processed food. And the last column is for the high acidic food. You want them out of your diet, so please avoid the highly processed food, the highly processed meats and drinks. So tip number two is to stay hydrated. Make sure you drink enough water throughout the day and make sure it's quality water. Uh, tap water is not necessarily best because of all the chemicals that are found in it. And bottled water is not necessary either. So if you have a filtration system at home that get rid of most of the chemicals in your tap water, that will be ideal. Tip number three, make sure you don't have any deficiencies. So a good way to do that is to uh, do a regular blood test and uh, make sure you don't have a diet that's too deficient in the calories. The less you eat, the less you're going to have minerals and vitamins and the more you're going to be deficient. So eat enough of the good food. Number four is sleep. Make sure you get enough sleep throughout the night it has to be quality sleep, you can even catch up with a few naps during the day if you want to but um, ideally you want to sleep enough, uh, everybody's a bit different I'd say between 6 and 8 hours would be ideal uh, you can even sleep more if you feel like you need to uh, we live in a society where uh, we prefer to think that working over sleeping is better but it's not going to be efficient in the long run you want your body to be in a homeostasis state, sleep enough. And last but not least, the obvious exercise daily. Move your body. The body is meant to move, so use it. If you're not moving your body, if you're not using your body, it's pretty much like telling him, hey man, I don't need you anymore. So the body's gonna age faster. It's gonna be less likely to be in a homeostasis state. So moving your body will promote that blood flow, that oxygen flow, that lymphatic flow. And it will make you feel better, it will make the body work properly. So there you have it, five tips to keep your body in a healthy state. Do it. See ya.